I mean, mm. sometimes we take a hard bite. Mm. It helps us as police. Nowadays, when I listen to you, I even panic. Why? Maybe, hey, why do you panic? The way, the way you, uh, uh, Papa, you know Papa. <laughs> Figuratively, he bites as hard as he can. Okay. And of course, when he puts his fangs into you, you certainly feel it. I think it pretty much done his bite. <laughs> You know, I want you. Sometimes our people disagree with you, but mm. I mean, I understand some of your approach. I mean, mm. sometimes we take a hard bite. Mm. It helps us as police. Nowadays, when I listen to you, I even panic. Why? Maybe, hey, why do you panic? The way, the way you, uh, uh, Papa. You know, Papa. <laughs> Figuratively, he bites as hard as he can. <laughs> okay. And of course, when he puts his fangs into you, you certainly feel it. I think it pretty much done his bite. <laughs> You know, I want you. Sometimes our people disagree with you, but mm. I mean, I understand some of your approach. I mean, mm. sometimes we take a hard bite. Mm. It helps us as police. Nowadays, when I listen to you, I even panic. Why? Maybe, hey, why do you panic? The way, the way you, uh, uh, Papa. You know, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin, Hasban Allahu wa Nima Wakil. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup run it over, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. It's Friday. Welcome to Johnny's Bag. Juma Mubarak to all our Muslim brothers and sisters. And thanks to Sonar Fashions in Tamale for my outfit this morning. This morning is it has rained, so we know the drill. No uh, unnecessary overtaking, no over speeding. You know, take care of yourself. And we always speak as if all the roads in Ghana have been tarred. So we tell people not to uh, speed; they should drive slowly. But there are very, very terrible roads in this country. So if you are driving through those as well, you want to be careful. Your sump and all your tie rods and everything else, you want to protect them because they are expensive. Fuel is expensive. Uh, spare parts are expensive and fuel has been increased on, on a coded low key, but we still have gold for oil. Well, yesterday I saw a, a press release from the, uh, no, two days ago or so, from the GES. Put it up there. Interdiction of WAS headmistress. Quickly took me back to what happened at Fijai Secondary School. Put it up there. WAS. Management of Ghana Education Service has interdicted Dr. Mrs. Shine Agatha Ofori, headmistress of West Africa uh, SHS, for unauthorized collection of money from students. She is to hand over the administration of the school to the Regional Director of Education pending final determination of the case by the Regional Disciplinary Committee. Cassandra Chuma Pofo, head of the Public Relations Unit, signed this on the 19th of July 2023. She may just be doing her job, Cassandra. But Dr. Mrs. Shainofori, uh, for, for those who were uh, in secondary school at the time when she was a teacher, was a very fantastic English teacher. Fantastic, unparalleled English teacher. One of the best that you could find. She has gone on to do her PhD, and she's now a headmistress. Dare I say that she's been used as a scapegoat in this matter because... We all know, but we, as pretentious as we are as a country, we have come to the point where the, we, we pretend that all is well, when indeed all is not well. I have said time without number, and I'm not the only one. Free SHS is a good policy. The implementation and the over-politicization is what is terrible and bad. And that's the, one of the five thematic areas in nation building that I think we should not politicize. Health, education, agric, economy, security. We have unfortunately politicized all of them. You heard a booger in Abu Tip admitting that such a thing has happened. The police, I'm looking at the police. A, 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 and, and headmistress has been asked to step aside, or headmistress has been asked to step aside. The police C, COP has he been asked to step aside since the investigations began? That Mutrumojo attitude must stop.
So Shinofori is being used as a scapegoat. And I'm saying it. Because we know, as, as parents and guardians, on our WhatsApp pages, they ask us to contribute to feed their children. On our WhatsApp pages, they ask us to contribute to buy desks. On our WhatsApp pages, they ask us to, to buy stuff. Teachers' motivation and all of that because the teachers, we know that the time that the children spend in school, they are unable to complete the curriculum. But they have to sit for an exam that has been set based on the contents of the curriculum. So there's a lot going on in the secondary schools that we are aware about. There's a lot. Food shortage recently happened. It took the minister to promise. That promise also failed. We took about two, three weeks to go and get the children food eventually. So how were the children surviving during those times? When there was food shortage. We put so much pressure on the headmasters and headmistresses. As we speak, 28 special schools, school for the deaf, school for the blind, Jolo special school, blah, blah, blah. Their feeding grant has not been paid since January of this year. So how do you propose that the principals and the headmasters and headmistresses of these schools will be able to feed and sustain the children while they are in the schools? Chairs, beds, Spaces for the children to even lay their heads is a problem. So if a, a headmistress decides to go out of her way to be innovative, and these days, you know, when we, we go for the PTA meetings that are not supposed to be in existence because they were outlawed, because we brought in the so-called free SHS. The silver collection which every parent used to give now, they actually, the PTA chairman are the ones who take the monies from the people and they say, oh, uh, this one is not compulsory because go and go and tell anybody that the school is collecting money. How did we get here? You cannot do it. But you are forcing people to believe that you are able to do it. Same thing, we are giving people the false hope and the fakery that we, are, we gave people free water and free electricity when in fact we are paying for it and we paid for it. So, Mrs. Uh, Shinofori is being used as a scapegoat and with immediate effect, she must be reinstated. This nonsense must stop. Oh. This is pure nonsense because there's no sense in it. And whatever there's no sense in, it is nonsense and it must stop. The headmistresses are put in a position of um, a difficulty and when they try to be innovative, they are punished for it. Head teachers, same. So, they are all quiet and they are suffering. At that secondary technical, I'm told the lights are, are off. The school, the students are sleeping in the dark. They've been in it since Tuesday. Somebody whose wife teaches there told me. Now, if since Tuesday the children are sleeping in darkness, and the headmaster puts on their WhatsApp a dear parents, kindly contribute no fuel for us to buy ECG credit so that the children will not be sleeping in the dark because it has a tendent effect of malaria and other things, would it be wrong? Would that parent be held? And how did the school come to OECG bills? Is it not because of the incompetence of the system and those who write these unnecessary press releases? Why do we do this to ourselves? Why are we so pretentious in this country? And now, there's, there's a double identity. Bring me the letter from the National Cathedral Secretariat. Kusi Boating, Edu Jenfi, the double character. The matter of the double car, you know what the high court said about it? He said the applicant in the case was Victor Kusibwati, who approached the court to cause, right? He, he tried to cause the court to stop Samoku Jeto Ablakwa from moving on a certain tangent of these revelations. And the court says, well, the active attitude borders on criminality is there. Justice Chawe. Now, they requested for a diplomatic passport, October 27, 2021, which was also received. Huh? By, by the office of the president on the 2nd of November, or received of the office of the president on the 3rd of November as well. These are the stamp. They requested for an, a, a diplomatic passport for a certain Kwabna Edu Jemfi. Bring it back, bring it back. Kwabna Edu Jemfi, bring the request back from the National Cathedral. Kwabna Edu Jemfi, a.k.a. Reverend Victor Kusi Boating. Now, this is for a diplomatic passport. And if you know the weight of a diplomatic passport, it is supposed to be held by diplomats, head of mission, and their families and those connected to them, people who are doing a proper national assignment on behalf of the nation. Diplomats. Because it is a dignified document. Now, the presidency also writes in response to this, because we don't have to, I can't read all the letter. It says, I write to inform you that approval has been granted for the issuance 
of a diplomatic passport in favor of Mr. Kwabana Edu Jemfi, aka Reverend Victor Kusi Boating. So the presidency even admits an AKA in an official letter. So in which name is the passport or was the passport issued? Is this an undercover person doing work for the NIB, doing work for national security? Is this, is this person working for Mossad? Is this person working for KGB? Is this person working for CIA, DEA? Is this person working for uh, M MI16? Now, th what's interesting here is that there's a passport, and this passport has come into the public domain before. 1969, date of birth. Go to the DVLA document. There's also a DVLA document that shows a different date of birth of 1971. And yet we have sunk so much money to the National Cathedral. The pretentious nature that we, and this was known by the presidency. So all this while, if Samuel Okuja to a black MP for not tongue has not spoken about these things, we wouldn't have known. And yet we we're building the cathedral on such foundations. Sinking money into the largest and most expensive hole in this world. And yet, we will keep children in schools hungry. And then when their headmasters and headmistresses decided to put their thinking caps on, we will use them as scapegoats and suspend them. Was it not the same GS who said they were doing something about the, is it Ghana's or Ghana's, the school in the northern region? Where the children are supposed to be sleeping in the dorm, uh, washrooms as dormitories. The GS told us they were investigating in two weeks, they will bring us the report. How many weeks has it been? Why is the report? Sometimes, when you want to punish people, you look at yourself, assess yourself properly. Okuja Tua Blackwa has brought this. The presidency has not responded to this because now it is becoming even more embarrassing. And the question that comes to mind immediately is that the president told us at the IEA debate, Mr. President, incorruptible Nana Dodankwe Kufuado, as he was sold to us, he told us that he was going to use the Anas principle. And those who are close to Anas, you know that if Anas decides to use his principle, it means that he's going undercover. He is doing an extensive job. All right? The court added that applicants' assertion that the use of two names in the manner he has done is not a crime under our laws is misconceived as the two identities were used in a pattern of duplicity depicting a lack of transparency and this conduct borders on criminality. This was the dictum of the court. The president said he was going to use the NAS principle. So far, has he been able to master the courage to use the NAS principle? The incorruptible Nana Dodankwe Kufuado. And, and these days when the president speaks, he can't even mention corruption. Because the way and manner in which corruption has swallowed his government, he can't even mention corruption. He can't even think about it. He, he turns left, he sees corruption. He turns right, he sees corruption. He turns, goes forward, back. Everywhere is corrupt. The battle is not the lords now. The battle is the loss. The battle is not the lord, so. And Yanya Media, the battle is the loss. Agbina. Because the levels of corruption is unthinkable. Now you want to ask yourself, should we say Nana Tuasu or should we say Nana Chasu? Should we say Nana Tuasu or should we say Nana Chasu? The battle is the loss. It's not the Lord's now, it's the loss. So should Nana Tuasu or should Nana Chasu? And this is the point where I want to chasu. Good morning. Sometimes I'm... Sous-titrage